Hi guys, welcome to the channel if you are new and if you're a faithful subscriber, welcome home. So you guys, today in the video we are in the home stretch. I am going to be painting the bathroom floors. After I get them painted, I'm going to give them a nice seal and then depending on how long the video is after that, we may go into um, going ahead and decorating and styling this bathroom. So if you're ready for part three and hopefully the final part of this video, then come along. So I'm starting by sweeping the floor and then I'll go and mop the floor and make sure I get everything up before I start with putting down the primer. And now I'm starting with a primer because I don't want any of the black that's already on the floor or any of the stenciling to show up when I start my actual painting. Remember the floors are going to be white so I need to make sure everything is covered. And now I'm going through and I'm going to paint all the baseboards and all of the tram uh, to just give it a fresh coat before I start my painting as well. Guys, so this is it for all the priming and painting the baseboards. So we will let this sit overnight and dry really good. And then we will start our real painting. But this gives you an idea of how the floors are gonna look and Right, it's gonna look really nice. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna let this sit, and when I see you again, it'll be time for us to start painting the actual paint that's going down on the floor and doing the stripe. So we'll see you then. Okay, guys, so now I have the floor all taped off for the stripe that will go around it and so now I'm gonna paint that and then I will paint over it with the, the white paint that is the main paint and I'll show you what I'm gonna use when I get to that part so I'm gonna do that and get this done because it is time to wrap up this bathroom so now I'm going through and I'm painting the black stripe, trying to be careful not to get it on the white areas, even though I will come back with the um, regular paint that I've chosen for this area. But the less mistakes now, the more cor the less corrections <laughs> you have to do you guys. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to see this. Let me see if I can wipe this can off a little bit. Hold on. Okay, so this is better, guys. I into my work and I forgot I was supposed to even videotape this for you guys but this is um, Studio Color um, by Rust-Oleum and it is the exterior advanced paint and primer in satin and um, satin because satin is just easier to wipe down and clean and mop and this is the bathroom floor but this paint you guys is all weather durability exceptional adhesion, coverage and hide. It resists fading and peeling, and it resists mold and mildew, um, and it coats it. it. It's a coating on the paint to resist mold and mildew. And it's just in the color white, ready to use at Walmart. So that's the paint I'm using on the floor. And I'll let you guys see that I have done the border, doing touch-ups, now I'm going back with my paint and painting. And um, so yeah, so let's get to it. So 
say guys, this is what it is looking like. And that's just one coat. And I will go over it with several coats, but I'm gonna let that dry. So this is what we have. That goes into the water closet. Take and let you see over on the shower side. So this is what it looks like here and I have the fan going just so it can dry before my husband needs to get in here for bed time to walk away. So that's that. Okay guys this is after three coats of paint and everything is dry but I'm gonna let it sit before I put the sealant on the top of it. So I will come back and show you guys um, what we're doing to seal the floors um, after they've dried a little bit more. But I just wanted you to just get a look at how they look so glossy. Okay guys, now that the floors are done, all painted, all the touch-ups are done, now I can they're done. I'm looking at a spot here that might need a touch up. Now I'm going to go in and put down a polycrylic coating and I'll probably do two or three um, coatings of this and I'll let you see it's the polycrylic and I do have it in clear satin. Um, satin just like the floors because that's easier to wipe up, easier to clean up. Oh. And um, it's durable, fast drying and like I said I'll probably put down um, two or three coats. I'm not gonna have you watch me do all those coats, but we'll just let you watch me do the first coat, but then I'll put that coat down, uh, let it completely dry, then put another coat down, let it completely dry. You get the idea. So I'm gonna put this down, and then after I get this behind the floors, I still will do a, another epoxy on the countertops, um, but I, they don't really need it. Uh, so I may skip that for now and maybe do it later, but after we do this, then it's time to style and decorate this bathroom. So let's put down this polycrylic and give it a dry. And while it's drying, it's, this is actually Sunday when I'm filming this part of the video, that while it's drying, I'm gonna go have lunch with my family, then come back to another cook and so After I put this down, the next time you guys see me, it will be when the floors are completely dry, completely done. That may be today, that may be tomorrow. Just look for an outfit change. And so anyways, let's get the floors done. Okay guys, now that the bathroom is officially all done, as far as um, the um, makeover part of it, now it is time for the really fun part, which is styling the bathroom. This has been a lot of work, but it has been so worth it. The vibe that I was going for is exactly what I'm getting. I feel like I am in a bathroom that's inviting and welcoming and it, pulls me in and makes me want to either soak in the tub or take a, a shower. Um, I have looked at the whole bathroom and trying to pick out what my favorite part is. And right now I'm really like, I love all of it, but I'm really leaning towards the shower area. You guys, it turned out so, it's just such a big change from what it was before when it didn't feel as inviting. You just shower to shower, but now it just feels like it just, it pulls me in. So I want to show you guys a quick overview. I want to show you where I put that cabinet that I told you to hold on to see um, in the final reveal. I want to show you where I put the cabinet and then we're going to start styling this bathroom and this bathroom makeover is going to be done. Now I will be honest with you guys and I'll tell you that the counters, the vanity, I still want to do a, another epoxy, a, epoxy um, over the countertops, but other than that, everything else is done except for the styling. So let me just let you get a quick overview, and then I'll let you see me 
um, do some styling and then I'll give you a final reveal. Now for the styling, I don't want to go through and talk about every single thing that I got for the bathroom. I'm going to link items. And so if you see something you like, then check the description box for the link. If it's not there, then put a comment in the comment section and ask me about it and I'll be more than happy. If I can link it for you, I will. Some of the items that you'll see are items that I picked up from my vintage um, market, um, thrifting, like the decanters that I'm going to use for my bath salt and my um, bubble bath. Those are decanters that I got while thrifting. And then the decanter stoppers that I got to go on top, I ordered from Etsy. And so some of the things I won't be able to link for you, but the things that I can, I will definitely, definitely link those things for you. I will tell you that a lot of the items I picked up from the Target Dollar Spot, um, some of the items I picked up from Home Goods, I picked up a couple of things from TJ Maxx, um, and some things I got from Amazon. So, yeah, I will, um, for the sake of not making the video really long, I won't talk about every single item, but I will highlight some of the items as I am styling them. I'll do a voiceover as I'm styling them. So anyways, guys, let me give you an overview. So guys, we have two doors coming into this bathroom and this is my side and then there's another door over there, my husband's side, but this is bathroom. This is our water closet and I will share with you guys, here is where I ended up putting that cabinet, put it over the toilet. This basket I used to have for holding toilet paper, but I have um, the piece that I refinished that's in my prayer room. Um, I painted it black. I, you're going to see me bring that in here instead. I have these Ikea cabinets. This one holds all of my, you know, extra towels, body creams, things like that, cleaning supplies in that bottom drawer. And then I have this one over here where I house all of my jewelry. So this again is water closet this mirror here was went to our dresser and i painted it black right there so that's that room and then as we come around here this is the tub area everything turned out so nicely these chandelier i i don't remember if i ordered them from etsy i think i ordered one from etsy or wayfair or something i'm not really sure so I know you can go on Amazon and find them, but I have one here over the tub, and then I have this one here that is in the center of the bathroom. And I have something really nice that I'm gonna style those with that I'll share with you. And then coming on over here to the shower area. Oh, I'm just in love with the shower door. You guys, I'll show you our new um, shower head that we also put up. So love that as well. Love, love, love. So yeah, so let's style this bathroom. So guys, I do want to just point out here that these are shower rod holders and they are sticky on both sides. You adhere the one side to the holder and then you adhere the other side to your wall and then you come and you just sit the shower rod in between those two little areas. Easy to do and I do have it linked for you in the description box.
Now guys, these candles are remote control LED candles and I'm putting them here in these candle holders and then you will also see that I'll be putting them in the chandelier that's in the bathroom as well. And with the flick of a switch, I can turn them all on or off and they are also able to be put on a timer. I do have these linked for you in the description box as well. Guys, I also wanted to point out that the toothbrush holders that I'm using here are actually the propagation tubes from the Dollar Spot at Target. And guys, if you remember, this is what the bathroom looked like before. And here's the after. Now guys, this automatic trash can is from Amazon and I do have it linked for you in the description box.
and now I've included some photos to let you get an even closer look at how I styled this bathroom. Well guys, that's it for this master bathroom makeover. Thank you for coming along with me for this ride. If you are new, I would love it if you would subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. You guys don't forget to like, comment, and share. And you guys don't forget to enjoy all of the little things in life because really it's the little things that give us the sweetest, prettiest little pleasures. I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye-bye.